before you ask, you're not ready for what's about to happen either. We're gonna make the invigoration part. <laughs> Everybody. My name is Zoe, this is Snitches and Witches, and today we are still going through those cocktails and we're making the invigoration draught. The first thing that I think of with the invigoration draught is that it's got a lot of spicy stuff in it, or at least it feels like it. It's got fire on the label. So, I mean, why would we not? We're making a hot sauce cocktail. Honey water, verbian infusion, scurvy gratch, and lavage are the things that comprise a invigoration draught. So we're gonna take that a little bit far. So this is a drink that has technically already been done, except I'm making two versions of it. One for the strong invigoration draught and one for the normal invigoration draught. So first we're gonna get some ice in our shaker. I've done this wrong because I got ice. Okay, well we're gonna take, take this opportunity and we're gonna grab one of our chilled glasses. There, I, yeah, frequently have my tea glasses <gasps> hanging out in my freezer. It's fine. This is what normal people do, right? right? Standing in for our lavage, we're going to take our peaky mint. And I say it's peaky because it's just, it seems that a day's grow. Okay, we're going to take 15 to 20 of these leaves. Fresh mint, I mean, you can't really. Eat that. Okay, I know that's not fresh, but you know, she's had a day. Just leave her alone. Now we're going to muddle this. Muddling is a wonderful thing where you're just sort of pressing and twisting against the bottom of the glass. You will know, probably know this from its application in mojitos. Just trying to get the oils out. Probably more mint than we want, but we're making two cocktails here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to grate a teaspoon of ginger per cocktail. So since we're making two, we're gonna make about tea two teaspoons of ginger. You're just gonna... This, I think, other than my lemon reamer and my knives, <laughs> is my favorite kitchen item ever. This is called a microplane. It is essential to everything. If you don't have a microplane in your kitchen, it is for everything. It is for zesting citrus and grating ginger and grating cheese, and you can even grate garlic on it. It's my best friend. That is much more than two teaspoons, about that much, into our mixing glass. Maybe a little bit more, because you know what? We like the ginger right here. All right, and then we're gonna take a hot sauce. You ready? Um, the recipe I'm using calls, calls for two bar spoons, but we are just gonna estimate this. That looks about right. So think about it as about a teaspoon or so. Now we're gonna use about an ounce or half an ounce per drink of simple syrup. If you don't know how to make simple syrup, it is literally the easiest thing on the planet. You can buy it, but I find that the biggest rip off of the century is literally equal parts water and sugar. So make it yourself and then you can add, put it in your iced coffee for a reason. All right, now we're gonna dump our ice into our mixer. Um, my original recipe calls for a shaker. I'm not going to be using a shaker today. All right, and then we're gonna put a shot each whiskey. A shot for each cocktail. And this poor little thing is getting real full real quick. She's had a day. We go to excuse her. Oh God. And then our last ingredient is ruby red grapefruit. If you don't like grapefruit, you can substitute lemon or blood orange or even just normal orange in for this recipe, but I love grapefruit because it's bitter, it kind of wakes you up and gets you going, and I love a ruby red grapefruit. Plus it lends itself really well to the hot sauce. All right, we're gonna be double straining this anyway, so don't worry about seeds and other vegetation getting into your cocktail. And we're going to put about an ounce per cocktail of grapefruit juice in here, so about two ounces in this, which should be about half a grapefruit, if my calculations are correct. Yeah, we are actually gonna go in on this other half of the grapefruit. Oh, that's about all I wanna add because I just wanna be able to stir it, okay. All right, now we're gonna stir this. 
very gently because it is so full. And that should be it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into two separate drinks. It's the normal invigoration draught. I have here a pint glass that I'm going to use. You can use a pint glass or you can use a zombie. Any tall glass will do. We are going to top, top this with seltzer water. Try and get about half of this in here. Okay, so we poured about a half of that in there. Now we're gonna put ice in it. Pack that full of ice. We're going to top with our seltzer. Give that a good stir. And there we go. So this is also known as a Cagney's breakfast, but I've turned it into our invigoration dot. This is actually a recipe from How to Drink, and if you are a cocktail enthusiast like myself, you should go check Greg out on How to Drink. And <laughs> this foam on top here is no joke, girl. Oh no, that's all the chili oil from the Cholula. Oh, dear. All right, well. <sighs> it's got such a good kick. Oh, I love that. I love that too much. I shouldn't love that as much as I do. Mm, mm hmm Okay, but now we're gonna switch and we're gonna pour this directly into a Nick and Nora and turn it into a shot for our strong invigoration drop. This is a Nick and Nora. It is a very small wine glass looking thing, but it's not. It's actually a Nick and Nora. No ice, no nothing. Just gonna oh, strain this right into our cute little stemmed glass. Zhuzhing all the bits out that we can. All right. Oh, the bottom of this mixing glass. Oh girl, she said but a day. Okay. We are actually gonna top this up with a tiny bit of seltzer. While we are here, give it a little bit of that. There we go. And now we're gonna try that. Oh, kanpai. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it in this form much more because it's much more potent. It's got a lot going for it. Um, I'd say I nailed the colors pretty well. If you sit these next to each other, yeah. Okay, this could have more red in it, but to do that, we would have to add more hot sauce than she's by. Mm. I shouldn't like that as much as I do. Well, yet again, the basement gremlins liked that one, so will I ever get my Nick and Nora glasses back ever again? One may never know. All right, if you like this video, do all the things that we harass you into doing. The link to all of the recipes are in the description. Remember, I love you always. <sighs> okay, bye.